sometimes we see things impossible, but nothing's really impossible. And she proved it by reuniting long lost relatives after decades apart. Uh, members of that family often wondered about the fate of two sisters separated from the rest of them as little children. But tonight, with a little help from a determined teenager, they are all back together again. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig has the heartwarming reunion out of Allen Park. Well, I always have faith. <laughs> I was, I knew it was something going to happen someday. But as a young mother, Alicia Delgado could never have imagined just when that day might come. It had been over 50 years since losing not one, but two daughters, Betty and Nancy, taken away by their fathers, a loss that also pained her other children. Like any mother, it was a, it was a burden, a weight that she was carrying. And so we would often, even at holidays, we would say, I wonder where Betty might be. I wonder where Nancy might be. And, uh, we were just worried about their health. We all knew about the existence of them. We just didn't know where. Then around Father's Day, Lisey's 15-year-old daughter set out to find her long-lost aunt. Then it happened through Facebook. First, she found Betty living over a 1,000 miles away in Florida. Then 48 hours later, she'd located Nancy. It was incredible, honestly, because I never expected this to happen. Um, sometimes we see things impossible, but nothing's really impossible. She showed me, I'm like, are you serious? She's like, yeah, mom, look. And I look and I see, and I'm like, oh my God, is this really happening? We started calling each other up, the siblings, and she started calling. There was no waiting here. Everyone just started calling, okay? <laughs> and George remembered the little hand he used to hold. I remember when we used to walk, we used to walk holding hands, but I felt that emptiness and I've always wondered, where is she? Oh my gosh, I couldn't sleep last night. I, I, I was anticipating this for so long. A sweet reunion for long lost siblings over 50 years to get to today. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Gracias, Dios mío, que cosa linda. It's so overwhelming. I, I went from not having family to like having my whole family here. You know, and they're in my life, and I didn't think this was going to ever happen. It's like, wow, it's great to know that I'm not the oldest sister. The first That's why she's so happy, because now I'm the oldest. <laughs> and after a lot of hugs and tears of joy at Metro Airport, it was time to head to Allen Park to see Mom. A reunion made possible by a 15-year-old girl and what they all say was some divine intervention. I'm still shocked at the moment because it, it's actually happening. It's amazing. It's, it's been a prayer that has been answered. Puzzles that have been missing from the board for over half a century. And it's uh, just overwhelming um, to see everybody, all the siblings together. Now we have um, some catching up to do and a lot of love to give and um, I, yeah. I'm so happy. I'm just happy that they found me and I made sure that I kept my name Nieves because I thought that maybe somebody would find me. And another surprise for sisters Betty and Nancy who had no idea the other existed. Well it turns out they only live 40 miles apart in the Orlando area. Dream come true. You know, I waited like 50 years. I never thought I would ever see my mother again. The puzzle is complete. The puzzle is complete. Oh, my nieces, nephews, oh my God, my sister-in-laws, brother-in-law. Could Nobody could have done this puzzle but just the hands of that almighty God. Amen. In Allen Park, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Wow, what a beautiful reunion. And to think a teenager did that and brought them together through Facebook. And I like what she just learned about. She says, nothing's impossible. Nothing and that's just proof of it. They've got 50 years of catching up to do. That's going to oh, take wow. some time. Right, a lot of tears over there. Hallie, th I think this is the second time you and I have cried tonight, huh? <laughs> All night long, these stories. Are they holding each other's little hands? Oh, I'll tell you what, but uh, such a happy, happy ending. All right. Well,